I wanted to capture a little bit of my current workflow, kind of thinking about Foley across footsteps and different materials and different outfits and that kind of a thing. And I wanted to set up a workflow that had the character timing and I could change the outfit. Like I set up this uh, little system uh, and it's playing some background ambience just so I had something in the background. And I kind of grabbed the, the walk and run animation cycles and I'm just running kind of a MIDI sequence that is the footstep tags. You can see like even the audio can edit. And it'll just run on a loop and I can switch the, the different surfaces. Just so I can like switch things and iterate on what the feet uh, sound like. And as I'm looking at different like outfits, I'm also thinking about the foley, like the cloth. So something like this, I almost want to put like a musical, like uh, I don't know what they're called with the empty shells, like the shaker <laughs> on the neck. I don't know if that's appropriate, but some of these different outfits, I think they need a different bit of um, different bit of cloth, something, something signature potentially. So this is kind of an example of just a grass footstep. And then I can change the, if I went to concrete, You kind of play with um, different surfaces. Here's dirt. And this is just footsteps, there's no cloth. Sand is pretty quiet. Playing with this one. So what is, um, yeah, the boom one really. This also needs a bit of that impactor. If I had the glass, a little bit of the tone in there, this is kind of what I'm thinking. So water could also be mud. So if I go back to grass, the other thing it's made me think about, just referencing these footstep kind of simulators. This one is from our library and it just has different, you know, shoe types and different uh, surfaces and things. And they're, they're okay. And same with this one. And what I like about this one is, so something like grass, and this is, you know, the wrong scaled up voxel, but it's just something here that I want to represent grass. And I know that there's different lengths of grass, and I believe that is like a decorator or a topper. So this has made me think about grass, not a long grass, not being a separate material, but as a modifier of grass, just like a, a decorator is. So this has, for example, like this leaf, slider and I believe this is something we should consider maybe and it's kind of um so that a different length of grass could even just drive like this slider so this is this is kind of why I'm referencing some of these and there's also like if I go to let's say okay let's go to concrete there is this like a squeak layer. So some of the outfits, if it was less of a, I don't know, slipper boot that this guy sort of looks like it is, if it was like a sandal, maybe there is, right? There's a little bit of a squeak on it. So we could do, you know, some differences in between the footwears, Not, nothing too drastic, but something that is a parameter. And then there's cloth, so I haven't showed the cloth. So if I'll go back to grass. So this is with some, 
pieces without it. This is kind of a leather cloth. And here I'll show you um, another another boom instance here where I'm just using the accessories here. And this has the metal is kind of a jangle. I don't know that this outfit needs a jangle. But it's cool to think about that's what I consider a gack. So this would be cloth and then like your footstep. And then again without it. It does add some life. Turn down that metal. And that metal can also be if you're holding something, right? If there's something on your belt, uh, etc. And maybe I'll show like walking is less common. So there is uh, some of the running and this has some of the cloth. Maybe there would be a little bit more jangle when you're when you're running like this. And still playing with um, some of the sounds. Yeah, maybe I'll stop it there.